Hi, it's Kernel Tex here with a series of videos about installing Linux from scratch on a Raspberry Pi 400. So if you've not heard about the Raspberry Pi 400, it's um, the latest product from um, the Raspberry Pi Foundation um, that was released in November 2020, last year. And although it's not technologically more advanced than previous uh, Raspberry Pis. Um, it's uh, actually their fastest machine they've released. Um, what it is, it's basically a Raspberry Pi 4 that's had the clock um, pushed up a bit to 1.8 gigahertz. Um, but apart from that, it's more or less the same internally as the Raspberry Pi 4. It only comes with one uh, memory size which is 4 gigabytes, there's no 8 gigabyte model or 2 gigabyte model um, which is a bit unfortunate really although 4 gigabyte is more than enough to do um, general things, 8 gigabyte option would, would have been nice especially with things like compiling and maybe video stuff as well but anyhow it's uh, a, a adequate size as I say on its own um, as you can see from the picture on the screen the keyboard uh, is a mini keyboard, a bit like a laptop keyboard, so it's shrunk down but fully usable. Um, I've used it uh, a little bit and I've had no issues with it. Some laptop keyboards can be quite awkward to use with um, buttons in odd places, but this seems to be um, seems to have all the keys in the usual places, so there's no no surprises. Um, so a little bit more about it. As I've mentioned, it's got four gigabytes of memory. The processor on it is a um, AR, ARM Cortex-A72 um, using the ARM 8.0A core so it's a little bit old, it's about five years old that, that technology but still perfectly adequate for a, a machine of this type um, that's been built into a Broadcom silicon on the chip BCM2711 so as I say it's the same uh, more or less the same as the um, Raspberry Pi 4. Um, yeah, the, the only other thing to mention is that the core clock speed is 1.8 gigahertz, um, which I believe is slightly faster. I can't remember what the Raspberry Pi 4 was clocked at. I'm not sure if it's 1.5 or 1. 1.6 gigahertz, but it's um, certainly faster. And that's down to the fact that there's a, a factory fitted heatsink that's been mounted. Um, inside so it's it's able to reliably dissipate any heat um, and in fact it does such a good job I found that at the stock speed um, the temperatures are only getting up to about 43 degrees centigrade when it's compiling on all four cores um, and I think the maximum temperature that the silicon will take is 80 or 85 degrees so it's way below the outer limits so um, if you're into overclocking, there's, there's room, lots of room for manoeuvre there. Um, I, I don't do that myself, but I've seen on the web that people have taken it up as far as 2 gigahertz, so that's quite an impressive step if you're interested in doing that. Um, so that's really about the machine I'll be compiling on. Um, just to let you know, if you are interested in buying one of these kits, what you can, I think you can buy the keyboard by itself, or you can buy a a kit with a mouse um, leads, the power supply and the um, USB. There's, there's a picture of the machine there with a the cutaway so you can see the the board is obviously different size to the normal Raspberry Pis. It's been elongated and um, set into like a trough. Um, I believe the heat sinks up this end. Um, it barely gets warm to touch from the top. If you put your hand underneath you can feel it's a little bit warmer but it's not hot at all. By any means, um, yeah, this is what you get in the kit. Oh, yeah, I forgot you get a book as well, which is um, aimed at introducing kids into programming and uh, using the computer and so on. It's, uh, I've not read it, but it looks really, really good. Like it's been really, really well laid out, um, plain English, um, lots of colourful pictures. Um, so yeah, there's the um, HDMI power, the actual unit itself, a mouse, and a copy of the Raspbian OS. On a, it's actually on a micro SD, but you get an adapter as well. Um, 
uh, price, I, I think mine was actually bought for me as a present. I think they're about £100 in the UK and I'm not sure how much they are uh, in dollars, probably about $75, $80, I guess, um, that sort of price. Uh, 